Hey everybody. So we're back out to uh, Shark Channel, looking at a target, the uh, tarpon again. Uh, wind's picking up, plus it's coming out of the north, going towards the south, so that's generally not such a good idea for me to head out to the reef in the blue water, uh, because that would be pushing me towards Cuba if I ran into problems. So we'll hold off, and plus it's getting a little bit rough out there right now. That also turned this water up. I was hoping uh, this would clear up enough so I could do some diving tomorrow, but maybe not. But to make it uh, a little different, I brought the uh, fly rod, so we're going to throw that around a little bit, see if I could uh, hook up a uh, tarpon on the fly. But uh, yeah, not too much different than that. Just get some time out here and check things out. So that's the plan. And I'm going to be throwing this fly around here, just something that uh, simulates a, uh, a pilchard or a little bait fish, a little mullet. Once it gets wetted up a bit, slims down the profile, so not too far off. A little bit bigger than the bait that they're eating, but not too far off. This might make it stand out a little bit. A shark right there. If you can notice, all these guys have found my uh, pilchard spot. Find your own spot. These are my pilchards. All right, they're here. The uh, pilchards, the bigger ones, are all along the bottom and got glass minnows on top. I think I'm going to throw out into the deeper. The current's really ripping. I'm a couple of hours early. I need to keep shifting uh, 45 minutes later in the afternoon because the water's still super high and it's just starting to push out. So I'm probably a little bit early for the tarpon, but uh, it's all right. I'll just. Uh, I'll do one batch, throw these pilchards out, see what happens, if nothing happens, and then there's some sites that I want to take a look at, and then I'll come back a little bit later. All right, got the flashes that I need. Looks good. Ooh. Heavy load. All right. That'll work. Split it up between the two buckets. Shake off the glass minnows that got stuck. And we're out of here. Do some chumming. All one, so get these guys going. See what kind of activity we can bring up here. That should get something happening if there's anything around. Not even a pop. All those pilchers and nothing moving. So I think I'm a bit early. Plus with that north wind, it's throwing stuff off. This water is stinky. So I think I'm gonna take the pilchers I've got and then I'm gonna go out towards the uh, main channel there where it's cleaner water and just free drift and throw those chummers out and see if I can get some action and then uh, throw the, the fly if I do see any. This is one of those rogue storms I'm talking about that come running down. So that's a massive storm, all dark right there. Now this is, I'm right along the inside edge of the US-1 and the uh, Mangrove Islands, the Keys. Usually those storms run right down the middle or on the Gulf side because of that kind of a north winds. That huge storm is just running right down the reef and offshore and that's the ones that uh, that would catch me off guard and I would get stuck out there and not sure what to do. 
but it's thundering lightning see big old black funnels coming down <laughs> so that would be definitely a problem one out there that would end up following me if i went out farther trying to get around it it's pretty far out there but that's one of those rogues you got to watch out for look at all these pilchards look at the size of them they're just massive size big ones I think I'm going to throw on some of these big ones and give them a shot. Don't need very many, big as they are. Bruisers! Man, nice ones. Fortunately, they die pretty quick. But keep a few of them. Oh. There we go. Something's got it. Head shaker, whatever it is. Just bait out of the way. That took a while. I had a pretty good uh, pilchard on this one too. And it's, we're up on the flats basically, so I'm not sure what it is. Not very big. Coming in fairly easy. What are you? Water so murky. Ah, oh, Jack. Jack on the flats. Man, you ate that big old bait, you little dinky thing. And he swallowed it. Got a seven knot circle hook on there. Oh, no, it didn't swallow it. Good. Oh, my hook back. Yeah, at least it didn't get skunked. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Nice hook set right to the bottom draw. There you go. One hand jack. I think something might have it. Or it stole it. Oh, hey, it's our buddy the tarpon. What do you know? Been waiting for you like hours out here. Where you been? You run all you need to, buddy. There you go. Good 
that out of your system and pump you back in yeah there just not has not been very much activity out here so I've been just kind of figuring I'd sit here on this flats and then where they're usually cruising is alongside these mangroves the other day I'm not sure what was going on maybe just a school moved in or something but nothing rolling today so I just came out here and uh, put on a couple of big pilchards and just had them drifting out in the middle here because those tarpon will go from the uh, mangrove edges and then go out to this uh, deeper channel out here kind of playing this one since I haven't had much action besides that other little jack still doing the same light drag middle finger for extra extra oomph power oh that's what it's gonna do no just changing directions on me oh. Oh. There you go, nice. Ooh, look how war that leader is. Golly, wow. You got to keep it. You swallowed that baby. Wonder that leader lasted that long. Alright. Oh, get on out of here, buddy. Ah, looks like a few that broke away from the moorings. That boat. There's another one. That's a pretty big boat there. And it got pushed way deep inside here. Yeah, that's a sorry sight to see. Yeah, that's a nice sized boat too. Must have broke off in the moorings. Bomber. Yeah, I saw this one from far away. I said, man, that doesn't look right. It's just a big houseboat on its side. That's what it is. Just got drug anchor and pushing the mangroves, push, push, push until it flipped over. Wow. It just ripped all those mangroves and pushed them all back. Well, that ends another day. Uh, ended up calling it kind of early. Just found out on the radio that the um, the curfew has been turned off in Key West, so we're back to totally normal. There's still a curfews in the lower keys and the middle keys, but uh, down here in Key West, we're good to go, so I think I'm all right. I don't know what would be considered here, but as long as I explain I'm going to Key West, it shouldn't be a problem. But anyways, that is the day I ended up getting that one jack and one tarpon, so... <laughs> The first day back, I got all jacks. Second day was all tarpons. This one, one jack, one tarpon. Um, I took a ride around checking out some other spots and checked out those sunken boats. But uh, the water clarity is just bad, so I'm not sure where else to fish. Um, maybe just do an exploration run out to the Gulf side one of these days just to see if maybe it's cleaner out there. But uh, I don't know. But anyways, that was the day. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.